Hey, this is Wes Dows here, and this is your Monday morning market update. Um, and so I'm going to give you a little bit of information about what's going on in the real estate market here. Uh, so uh, we're in January, we're in the last week of January, and it has been absolutely bananas out there. If you, if you follow the real estate market at all, or if you know what's, what usually happens in the real estate market, we usually have two upswings in the market, and that's usually spring. Everybody knows that listing in spring is usually a good, good time to do so because there's a lot of buyer activity. And also, you know, listing usually in, uh, in October is usually a good time as well too because you get after the back to school, the back to hockey and all that kind of stuff, and then the market picks up back then. Things usually taper off uh, in the end of December, and then they usually remain slow until about the third week of February where things begin to pick up again. Well, that is all different this year. This year we're experiencing an absolutely crazy January. This is the busiest January that I have ever experienced. And it's characterized by a lot of buyer activity and a whole lot less inventory than there's usually out there. So. That's where we're at on the market right now. So Niverville, there's presently 20 homes that are listed on the market, which is super duper low uh, for Niverville. Niverville usually has 50 plus homes on the market and uh, this definitely is a whole lot lower than that. Uh, of those 20 houses, only two of them are resale homes, which means that there's not a whole lot of homes that are out there that are, that are within certain price points that buyers are looking. As a matter of fact, there is no homes for sale in Niverville under $250,000, which is leaving a big gap in the market. Uh, there, uh, so of those 20 houses, there's 18 of them that are to be built homes, under construction homes, or considered to be new homes. And of which there is, I, I don't believe that there's any of them that are finished right now that you can actually see a finished home. So again, there's a huge shortage of homes on the market in Niverville, which is absolutely crazy. Um, so interest rates are also super good, which is adding some more fuel to this fire. Uh, interest rates are at 1.69% for a five-year fixed. You should easily be able to get that, and you should easily be able to get a 1.6% on a variable mortgage as well too, which again, adding a little bit more fuel to that fire and making buyer demand even higher as well too. So what does this mean for you as a homeowner? Well, usually when I'm meeting with uh, sellers and meeting with people who are thinking about selling their houses, usually I suggest that you would want to consider selling your home when inventory is low and demand is high. Like any other market, we are dictated by the, the law of supply and demand. When supply is high and demand is low, your uh, investment is usually worth a little bit less. When supply is low and demand is high, your investment is worth a whole lot more. And that's the market that we're in right now. Uh, so if you're thinking about selling somewhere along the line and you were thinking about waiting until spring, it might do you a good service to think about maybe moving that up a little bit. There's a very good chance that you could achieve unreal numbers or, or, or un, uh, an unreal experience in selling your home during this time. So pretty cool. Um, so if you're interested in a detailed analysis of what your home could, what you could expect in selling your home on the market, or you just want to know what your investment is worth, reach out to me. I'd love to meet with you. I'd love to see your home and give you just that, a detailed analysis of what your home could perform like in the market. So my name is Wes Dose. I'm your local real estate agent, and uh, this is your Monday morning market update. And uh, have a great week, everyone.